Hello, my name is Karol Kowalski. I am professor at Warsaw Uni University of Technology, Poland. I have this presentation together with Dr. Jan Krull from the same university. I would like to welcome you on course number three, Recycled Asphalt Mixtures with Higher Up Percentage. This course includes six different parts, introduction, bioagent production on a laboratory scale, bioflux binder properties, properties of asphalt mixture with wrap and bioflux binder, application of bioagent, and summary of this in conclusion part. As an introduction, I would like to position the product which we developed in our in our project in an European system, European specification system. This is under EN 15.322, cutback and flux bitumens within the bituminous binders group. Bioflux agent, it is a technology patented by Warsaw University of Technology before the project starts. And the idea of this is partial as an idea Bioflux partially behaves as asphalt rejuvenator, fluidizing bitumen with possibility to recover its original consistency. Flux additive is a plant-based product with partially unsaturated bonds with secative addition. The objective of our idea was to achieve increased wrap content, but with standard plant technology, without a special modification in the factory. The second objective was to develop procedure of operations with the virgin binder composed with biofluxing agent allowing higher wrap content, higher than typical, and reduced amount of virgin binder, thanks to the higher wrap content. To propose a method of application of the biofluxing agent to the recycled asphalt pavement, effectively working with bioflux agent. The research plan was divided into three, st three stages, from one to three. Stage one was bioagent production and testing. Stage two was bioflux binder production and testing. And stage three was on an asphalt mixture with wrap and bioflux binder. The specific terms were used in the project. Bioagent and biofluxing agent as a product of acid and secative reactions. Bioflux binder as a bioagent with virgin bituminous binder, wrap as a reclaimed asphalt pavement, asphalt mixture or HMA or hot mix asphalt, and virgin binder stated for new bituminous binder from crude oil plant. The materials used in the project in, the, in this part was a chemical additives for bioagent production, bioester, binders, the three typically used in Poland for the road construction and in most countries over Europe, 35 slash 50, 50 slash 70 and 70 slash 100. The mix recipe for the HMA was an asphalt concrete for the binder layer with maximum aggregate size of 60 millimeters, uh, denoted as AC16W, an example to the one which could be used in the demo site for binder layer in this project. And wide range of wraps was, were tested, mainly from road surface layers. Bioagent production on a laboratory scale. That's a laboratory setup. Uh, this is the schematic. And this is the real picture from the, from the lab. The idea of this was that the compressed air was introduced into the reactor and in the reactor uh, and the reactor was uh, equipped with the cooling chamber co cooling column and uh, during the process run on, on two different temperatures the material was produced bioagent activity was verified for both types of bioagents produced according to version A and version B, mixed with binder, 50 70, the amount of 10% of bioagent. 
slightly higher than later years in the research. Samples were stored, were, were stored in thin layers in open containers, subject for the contact with air at room temperature, and was te were tested at 0, 1, 3, 7, and 14 days. The samples was removed with a spatula from the open container and placed for testing. Bioagent activity, we are still on an part of the project laboratory scale, bioagent production. We checked the changes in a dynamic viscosity at 60 degrees of Celsius, the changes in bioflux binder with the time. We tested this at the uh, time periods which I mentioned in the previous slide, and we compared both methods. It can be seen that in general, both methods offered the bioflux which will act on a similar way once mixed with bitumen. Then selection of bioagent production method. For the further analysis and for the full-scale application, technology less complicated where was selected. It was version A, reaction at 20 degrees of Celsius, since both of them uh, provided similar impact on the binder. On the second stage of, a, of our study, bioagents and binder combination were prepared, three binder types, and six levels of bioagent introduction, 0, 1.25, 2 and 3.75, 5, 0, and 10%. Measurements of ring and ball were conducted at 0, 7, 14, and 28 days after incorporation of bioagent to binder, and all, the, all of the samples stiffens with time. Consistency rate is higher for softer binder. All the samples stiffen with time. Consistency rate is higher for the softer binder, as expected. It can be observed that after 28 days of uh, stiffening, uh, once compared, uh, once compared, the samples change the ring and ball value positively, uh, which shows the stiffening of bitumen uh, mixed with bioflux. Higher amount of bioflux uh, observed for the 50 slash 70 binder and 70 100 binder. As the next stage, tests on HMA samples were started on asphalt mixture. The reference mixture is, is provided as informed earlier was AC16W with a specific sieve size as shown. Material properties for reference asphalt mixture are provided on this slide. This is one of the, I would say, typical mixture used in a middle Europe in, in Poland with dolomite aggregate. Blend aggregate for reference asphalt mixture and asphalt mixture with 30% of rub does not differ strongly, which was one of the idea of the project, to compare similar specimens, differ just only by the amount of rub, not by the grade. And this is the uh, reci mix recipe for the mixture with. Bioagent content should be on such level that bitumen with bioagent will change the properties by one class as referred to the base binder. It means 35 slash 50 will provide 50 slash 70. 50 slash 70 will provide 70 slash 100. This was the initial assumption to soften the binder with bioflux by one class, by EN specification. This was determined further in the function of the dynamic shear Test in the wide temperature range from 0 to 100 based on the complex modulus. 
asphalt mixture properties were compared with a mixture, four different mixtures. Neat mixture, mixture with wrap, mixture with wrap and 2.5% of bioflux, mixture with wrap and 5% bioflux. Compaction eff efficiency with uh, bitumen 35 slash 50 shows that with wrap, uh, a little bit of the compaction effort or efficiency was lost and then it was recovered with uh, similar was checked for 50 slash 70 and 70 slash 100. Again, tests were conducted with uh, three different binders. Uh, in this case, ITCY test for checking the stiffness. And again, the positive trend was observed for the both. Similar is observed with 50 slash 70 and 70 slash 100 mixture was tested for ITCY. And then the most important test from the structural pavement life analysis and life cycle cost analysis and from the uh, agency paying or responsible for the uh, maintenance of the road. A similar trend is observed once checked on four points beam stiffness and fatigue resistance with the mixture with bioflux. Asphalt mixture properties were tested with four point beam stiffness and fatigue resistance. It can be observed from the slide that it can be visible the positive shifting of fatigue characteristic observed for the mixture with wrap and 2.5% of bio energy. Asphalt mixture properties tested for fatigue resistance. It can be observed that after 1 million cycles, there is a significant change in a micro strain amount. The tests with the low temperature behavior were conducted. What is important for the climate of Middle Europe and northern part of the European Union countries. The mixture with bioflux can show 5 degrees of Celsius improvement in the resistance, in the failure temperature. Application of bioagent and bioflux binder on a, in a plant was proposed with two different setups directly to the bitumen tank or through the installation dedicated mainly for the adhesive agent addition. Uh, wrap limitation. In most cases, 20% is the limit for those plants which are not equipped with a dedicated infrastructure, such as, for example, double barrel system for wrap. Proposed technology allows for increasing its limit by 10%, up to 30%. To be honest, much higher improvement is possible, but to be on the safe side, this uh, safe value was uh, was proof. And on the final conclusions, ecological and technical effect was achieved by increasing the percentage of wrap added to the mixture proposed by traditional techniques. Such a solution was possibly thanks to the integration of ecological plant origin fluxes. Based on the research and analysis, a method of application of the biofluxing agents to recycled asphalt pavement was developed. Increased limitation to the wrap content effectively working with bioflux was proposed for up to 30% when bioagent content is 2.5 to 5%. The most ecological aspects of this whole process based on the sustainability philosophy is a three stages virgin bitumen reduction as compared to the traditional asphalt mixture. It means application of wrap in the HMA, that's one, increased amount of wrap, that's two. Substitution of part of the virgin bitumen by flux additive, that is three. Thank you very much for your attention.